Images show Megan Varicas, 33, and Mac McDaniel, 51, posing for detectives who are trying to snare their former partners, Leon Jacob, 39, and Valerie McDaniel, 48. The McDaniels were divorced at the time and Varicas had ended her relationship with Jacob but Valerie still owed her ex-husband $1.25 million from the settling of their estates and Jacob was the subject of a protection order stopping him from contacting his ex, who he had been stalking. Prosecutors say he wanted her dead so that she could not testify against him in the stalking case. They pair are accused of offering a hitman $20,000 and two Cartier watches to do the job. They were unaware that the hitman was in fact an undercover police officer. Once they had made the offer, police contacted Megan and Mac and asked them to go along with it to ensure their partners would be caught, which they did. After their arrests last year, Valerie committed suicide while out on bail and awaiting her next court date. Leon is now on trial in Houston, Texas. On Wednesday, his ex-girlfriend testified about the photographs she posed for. I sat in a chair in a warehouse and they zip-tied my hands and my feet and put duct tape around my mouth to make me look as though I had been kidnapped. Related articles, I had sat in that parking lot for an extended period of time so I was crying and really upset, she said, according to Click2 Houston which attended the trial. Mac also testified and described the whole ordeal as, beyond imaginable. Police made him look as though he had been shot in the head in a carjacking. He became emotional on the stand as he spoke of his daughter who was just eight at the time of the plot. If they would have been successful, Natalie would have not had any parents, he said. On Tuesday, a bail bondsman testified about how Jacob tried to have his girlfriend killed after he'd been arrested for stalking her to ensure she could not testify against him. That man said Jacob told him to kill her with potassium chloride to the heart. He's always been on the track of actually killing Megan if it doesn't go his way. Yes, he did actually propose the way to kill her. Potassium chloride to the heart. It was untraceable, those were his words, he said. Jacob denies the charges and insists he wanted to spend the rest of his life with Megan. He claims they had broken up not long before the plot and that he was trying to win her back. On Tuesday, during opening arguments, one of his attorneys told the court he wanted to get back with Megan, but his pleas of love went unanswered. She ignored him. She refused to take him back, Valerie's husband feared that she would take her own life once she was released on a $50,000 bail in March last year. She has nothing to lose, he said at the time. On March 27, Valerie leapt to her death from her seventh floor condo a day before she was due for her first appearance in court. She had left two suicide notes. An investigation by DailyMail.com last year unearthed details about Jacob's life. Unlike McDaniel, a successful veterinarian with a blemishless record, he has a criminal history and background rife with debt and chaos. They met when his mother filed the paperwork for McDaniel.